Hi, and welcome to the 2017 Paper 1 of the Judy Shared Higher Level. Uh, we're looking at question 11 here. Um, before we get started, I suggest you pause the, the video, have a read of the question, and just give it an attempt. Um, if you need the, or want the notes with the screen grab question and the answer on the following page, please send me an email at shanetroy at gmail.com. That video, or the email link will be in the description for the video. So question 11 here, it's a 10C part in a particular linear. Now, the second you see linear, you should be thinking a few things. One is that its slope will go up in a regular amount. Okay, that's the main feature of linear sequences. The second term is 40, so we see that written there. And the sixth term is 116. It says fill in the boxes below to show the rest of the first six terms of this sequence. So if it goes up a certain amount, now, we need to know and find out what that amount is, okay? So there's a jump here, a jump here, 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 and here. So there's, what, one, two, three, four jumps between 40 and 116. Now, if you take that away, because it's going up a regular amount, okay, you take, I should go straight to the answer here. Uh, it's your 116, take away the 40, okay, so that was your original, and original uh, figures given. That's 76, so there's a difference of 76 between those two figures. That's four equal jumps to get uh, that 76 covered. So divide four to 76, it was 19. So the difference between each one is 19. And once we know that, we can take 19 from 40 to go back to the first uh, sequence, the first term, sorry. Then add 19, 19, 19 uh, to get the other three figures. And our sequence is, is fully filled in. Okay, so that's part A. Now part B here. Paula is asked to write down a quadratic sequence. Now, the main feature of quadratic sequences is that the second difference goes up by a regular amount. Okay, so this here is going up by, what, 5 to 6 is the difference of 1. Uh, difference between 6 and 9 is 3. Difference between 9 and 14 is 5. Isn't it? 5, 14, 22 is 6 and 2 is 8. 22 and 30 is also 8. Okay, and 1341 is 11. Now, the difference there is 2, 2, uh, 3, not 3. That's not a quadratic sequence. Okay, that second difference there, the difference between those uh, differences should be equal. So what's the question asking? Orla is asked to write down a quadratic sequence. She writes down the following. Exactly one of the terms in Orla's sequence is incorrect. Write down the correct quadratic sequence in the space below. You may only change one of the terms in order sequence. So as an infographic I've added in here, it's not in the question, just showing you that difference here. It's not, not the same set of figures, but in the example here, you have 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 26. So the first difference is 3, 5, 7, 9, 11. So the difference between those two figures, 1, 4 take away 1 is 3, 9 take away 4 is 5, 16 take away 9 is 7. Now, that's the first difference. There's no uh, commonality there, but the second difference, 5 take away 3 is 2, 7 take away 5 is 2, 9 take away 7 is 2. Therefore, this is a second difference of 2. So it's a, it's a common second difference. So we want that to be repeated here by only changing one number. Okay, so we'll go straight to the answer here. And that's the sequence I originally have. Um, I've gone the first difference and then shown that the, the second difference is not common. So the first difference should be... Okay, I've gone up 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11. Okay, uh, to give a common difference of uh, 2 all the way across. Okay, so how would we achieve that by changing just one number? So you have 5, okay, would give the difference between uh, 5, six, 5 and 6 would be 1. Then 6 and 9 would be the 3. 9 and 14 would be the 5. So 14 and, eight and 7 should give you the, the correct figure here. Okay. 14.7 is, um, let's see, what is it, uh, 21. Then the next jump there should be 9. So 21 plus 9 is 30. And 30 plus 11 is 41. Fairly tricky question if you have a good knowledge of quadratic sequences and that second difference. It's, 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 it's easy to back work it. Uh, if you don't know that second difference thing, you won't absolutely know where. In which case, I try hit for the attempt now, in that exam paper, uh, marking scheme, did I close it off? Let's see. Actually, I have it closed off, but I can open it up again. 2017 marking scheme. 
and we're looking here at question 11. What would have got the attempt for that B part? Sorry, let's see now. That's paper two, not paper one. Okay, so if you want to check it out, I can send on the um, the marking scheme for the, the as well if you if you ask for it. It is on examinations.ie. And question eleven here, so that's the first difference. So except credits will work. So get the low partial by finding two first differences. Okay. So here's I suppose look, if you see a list of numbers that you've no clue what to do, at least try add them or subtract them or something. If you would have subtracted any of those numbers away from each other, um you'd have gotten the low partial. Okay. I'm not gonna which up if you don't know. It'd be hard to get an attempt there because it's asked for two first differences. But at least you did some people a chance. Okay. Okay, so that's the end of the video, I think. Let me just go back and check. Okay, so that's it. Thank you and see you on question 12.